morning. Good morning. The entrance antithon, second option. The Lord has risen from the dead. He said, let us all exult and rejoice, for he reigns for all eternity. Hallelujah. The Mass today is being offered for the parishioners of St. Francis A. De Paris. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brother and sister, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You will send to you the contrite heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You have sent them at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. This week is the octave week of Easter. We will say glory for the whole uh, every day in this week. Glory to God in highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You have said that at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you, O Lord, are the Holy One, you, O Lord, are the Lord, you, O Lord, are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their life to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus, the Nazarene, was a man condemned, commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered out by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart is given glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet, and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus, of this we are all witnesses, exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father 
as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. The response to our song, keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold me fast. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him in my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the Gaul went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldier, telling them, You are to say, His disciple came by night and stole him while we were asleep. Then, and if this get to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldier took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. As Easter is a part of Paschal Mystery and the most important time in the liturgical year of the Catholic Church, we cannot limit our Easter celebration on Easter Sunday only. We continue our Easter celebration in the next seven weeks of Easter. If we share any Easter candy or any goodies to others, we also bring to them the joy of our Lord resurrection. We are the people in the resurrection of our Lord. During the next seven weeks of Easter, our first reading will also be taken from the Acts of the Apostle. We will hear how the early Christians live out their appearance of the risen Lord and proclaim their experience in the days following Jesus' ascension into heaven. Today, first Monday in the Easter season, our reading today also comes from St. Peter's first sermon on the Pentecost. He boldly proclaimed the fulfillment of the promises 
which was made by God in the time past. He focused on the Psalm of David, which is the Psalm of this day. He shared with those who listened to him that David was not talking about himself when he spoke about God. God will not abandon the soul of the chosen one to the netherworld, or allowing the faithful one to undergo corruption. Peter pointed out that the words of this psalm are fulfilled in Jesus. Although Jesus was crucified, he has been raised up on the third day. Peter remarked that he and the other apostles would be the witnesses to the risen Lord Jesus Christ. As we continue to celebrate Easter, and especially as we continue to be filled with the Holy Spirit, let us proclaim the message which Jesus came to bring to the world. We are bound with God who loves us. We are drawn into a closer relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ, with our Lord Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us reflect on our own experience of the risen Lord and be witnesses to the resurrection of our Lord, who is still alive and live within us. Let us continue to proclaim the good news that Jesus has risen. Alleluia. Now let us offer our prayers and petition to God. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide and protect her in this Easter season and magnify her light of truth and goodness in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For world leaders, may the Lord bless them with a, fe a fearless vision to act for the true common good of those they govern let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. For all those struggles, for those, for all who struggle with addiction, for all who struggles with addiction have caused separation from their families, may they, through the mercy of God, be reconciled with their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear us. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for all the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Let us now pause to add our personal intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Our family prayers found on the cards in the pews. Prayer for protection and healing from coronavirus. Lord Jesus, you travel to towns and villages Hearing every disease and illness, come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick, sick with the virus, may they regain their strength and health. Bring those who are dying of the virus to eternal peace. Protect our members and health care professionals as they help the sick. Allow the vaccine to be successful in parting the spread of the virus. Be with leaders in the nations. Give them wisdom to act and to concern for their people. Grant us peace in this time of uncertainty and ailments. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus, for you are our loving and willing Lord. Our Lady of Rome Sucker, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Mark, and St. Rosalie, pray for us. Our family prayer. Loving and grateful God, through the years that we fought our lives, have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Rome's in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. 
We come to you, Father, with Mary our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which give respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may fall maturity in faith. Let us protect our youth that they may teach and turn around. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones and violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our Lady of Promise, our Lord, may He to help us. Mother, get the new way for us as a new year for His hands. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the book of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Praise my brother and sister that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offering of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with thankful joy, every land, every people, is all in your praise. And even the heavenly power with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory. A day of flame. Holy, 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 Lord God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is Jesus, come to the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the power of all holiness. Like holy, therefore, is give we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have kept us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, 
together with Francis our Pope and Gregory our Bishop and all the clergy, remember also our brother and sister who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the same command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and set for all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord will be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those fall to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Communion Antiphon, Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. May the grace of this time for sacrament abound in our minds. We pray, O Lord, and make those who you have sent on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Anderson Chapel has been reopened this morning after the 6.30 a.m. Mass. Our parish office will be reopened tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou the grace of the heavenly host. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits. 